Hey guys, just wanted to do a video on the poly winder for the Spin Illusion. Um, I'm out in the wool shop tonight. My little buddy Toby, he is one of them that come out. Usually I just have the littles out here. It's a mess right now. And I really loved this white couch until I realized, yep, um, the dogs come in with me and... Didn't want paw prints on my furniture, so we put blankies down for them and their toys. But, um, anyhow, I wanted to show you the pros and cons about the poly winder. I really like it. I've been waiting a while for them to come out with something like this for the Spin Illusion wheels. Because I'm also a fan of the Wooly Winder. For the Magic Craft wheels, um, they work similar, you know, no hooks, it goes on automatic, um, but there are big differences on how they work. Um, the Wooly Winder has the mechanism inside, and usually after a while, I'd say, depending on how much you spin and what you spin, you really want to clean that out. And it needs oiling. I don't know if I can get in there. No. But there, there is a little mechanism in there. And everything, dust, um, fibers get in this track. And it really needs to be cleaned out. Um, and it also needs oiling. Um, grease in there so it keeps sliding properly. Um, sometimes you got to clean the fiber out of the gears in there too. Which none of it's hard. Um, but it's stuff upkeep that you need to do with it. Um, when this goes on, it goes on smooth, all in the same row, you know, no hills, crevices, nothing. And it goes on fairly smooth and tight, so you can fit a lot on the bobbins. Um, it goes through the orifice here and comes through here and then goes through there. And piles on but that's the woolly winder for the poly winder it makes these little hills you know where it would stay in one spot and go back and forth and then it'll decide to run all the way across hill again and come across or sometimes it'll do it right in the center and make a hill and you really want to mess with it so it goes on smoothly but a lot of times it fix itself. Um, it'll fill in a hill with no problem. Um, and if it tends to stick in one spot for whatever reason, there are these little clips here that you pinch and slide. So it will move it and fill it in. Um, or if you want it on one side, for some reason, you can do that. So you are in control of it. Um, and how this one works, there's no gears to clean. So that's super nice. Um, it's They're really easy to put on. If you just buy it to fit your wheel, the poly winder, you take your old arms off, which are these ones. They unscrew on the back of the head. And you just take those off. You put the new arms on, which this one is replaced of the arm. And you can either get the black one in the front for your orifice hook, or you can use the wooden ones. They both fit. Um, I use the same one. They also have the plastic bobbins too, which really are nice. They come apart. Um, and you can fold them up and put them in a bag. Hang on, I have one, but it's not the size. It's for my bullfrog, so it's a bigger one. Um, these are really super cool. Like I said, they unsnap, come apart, and you can fold them up and put them in a project bag so they don't take up as much room or you don't have to worry about them breaking. Um, but I didn't get the smaller size for the Echo yet. Um, and that's the one I'm using right now, so... But I believe there 
is some weight in here so when it goes around it that's what gives it the fill so you don't want to spin this or treadle it without yarn on it because they say it will make the poly winder um, get ruined it'll wreck it it'll malfunction um, so you don't want to do that but it's really easy it just goes you take your leader through the bottom it comes up goes around here and then goes through the eye then under your hook so you're not really feeding it anywhere except for through this eye maybe but there's a little crack right there so i don't even have to feed it through there where like the woolly winder you're feeding it three through three hoops um and there's really no way around it where thus you don't really have to feed it through anything um you just kind of wrap it around and go the only difference is is this the only thing that makes me nervous and makes me want to um monkey with the side clips is when it doesn't fill in all the way but when i let it go i've noticed that it, it fixes itself um and it's just how it works so it's it's not a major big deal but it's super easy um the price for these are cheap um compared to the lily winders are quite expensive um, i think there's like a hundred dollar difference maybe in them but so that was it i just wanted to show you that difference between the two because people were asking that have the woolly winders and wanted me to compare them to the poly winders again they they both do the same thing they just do it differently um and there's pros and cons about both of them this one will go on more smooth but there's a mechanism that you got to clean in oil um depending on how much you spend is how many how often you get to clean it or oil it um, where this there's no maintenance to it at all which is great it's awesome love it, it means it's not going to get ruined um, again the only thing that will ruin it is if you spin it without any yarn on it it will wreck it um, but and i'm just doing some cormo cloud it's not really carded or anything it was just ran through a cloud i believe it's wally yes it's wally um i wanted some textured yarn to make myself something so but that's it i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any questions let me know have a great day